the title of the justification of the h infinity controller combined with fuzzy logic and PI, PIDFG for hybrid control of wind energy conversion system connected to the power grid based on DFIG is presented by Dr. Boaz Wadawa in the category of Best Researcher Award by the International Academy Meet for the 2022 session. The aim of this brief presentation is to provide some answers to the two main questions. Why is the development of wind energy system becoming more and more popular? How to robustify an h infinite controller for a grid-connected wind system? And at the end, we will conclude. The reason of the increased development of wind turbines concern the advantages of, of wind turbines of a hotter renewable energy source uh, that they offer an interesting alternative to other clean or unclean energies can develop grid powers depending on their size or number. The possibility and the possibility of integrating wind turbines into the grid is manageable. However, we can name some main problems of integration of wind turbines in the power grid such as the risk of ultimately disconnections of the wind turbine from the grid, the increase in harmonics, voltage dips, flicker, predictions and maximizations of the power produced, decoupling and control of active and reactive powers and the high conversion cost. Indeed, the field of control is the most solicited for integration solution. For this purpose, we will focus in this presentation only on the robustification of the h infinite controller for grid-connected wind power systems. Driving by the work of Dowler, Glover, Cargonica, and Francis between the 1980 and 1990, 1990. The H infinite command has the main advantages such as flexibility with regard to system dynamics and interoperability with other controls. The advantages of being practically feasible and at reduced cost, case of experimental and or practical. The robustness and ability to approximate any linear and non-linear function knowledge of the model of the system to be controlled is necessary. The formulation of the standard H infinite problem is represented by this figure, which K, where K represents corrector when T, W, getter considered entires, U, process control vector, Z, output vector or selected signal, Y vector of output or measurements. The augmented matrix P 
is particular partition it as follows and the transfer function between w and z of the loopy system is given by this expression the principle of solving the h infinity problem by mle is to define the system matrix as follows and the MLE resolution consists of verifying the following matrix inequalities. There are two methods of solving the H infinite problem. We have Ricati's approach. It's less tedious but many assumptions to check. And the MLE linear matrix inequality approach more tedious but much more advantageous than Riccati. The main advantages of MLA are a numerical approach adapted to large-scale problems. It minim minimizes the number of assumptions to be verified. And at the programmation, programming editor exist to formulate the h infinite problem hence the choice of the mle approach in this work the study of h infinite robustness by the method of weighted functions consists in verify the following equation so here the choice of weighting Functions are made randomly. The mu analysis method compared to the weighted synthesis has the following advantages. We have been less popular, therefore, under exploited. Better control the uncertainties of models or parameters. Sizing the weighting filters in a structured way and facilitate the knowledge and the exploitation of the characteristic parameters of the system. The structuring of mu analysis is based the following representation called a linear fractional transformation given by this representation where delta can represent the structure or parametric ascent ascentities is given by this expression and the ascent and structure or model uncertainties we have here absolute uncertainties given by this expression and relative uncertainty given by this other expression. So transfer matrix linking the input W to the output is Y is given by this expression and maximum linear value of the uncertainty must verify the relationship by this expression. The proposed hybrid control based wind power system is represented as follows. Here we will focus on the H infinity of the TFIG and H infinity of the filter. The application of the mu analysis method to the DFIG and the filter gives the following augmented matrix respectively. PA of DFIG is given by this expression and PA of filter is given by this expression. The resolutions of the augmented matrix 
of the TFIG by Emily Approach on the Mad Love gives, after 47 iteration of calculation, the corrector KGW, which verify the stability condition of the ruler and the resolution of the augmented matrix of the filter by the MLA approach on the MATLAB gives after 21 iteration of calculation the corrector KF infinite by this expression which verify the stability condition of ruler. The analysis of the plot of both diagram of functions L DFIG is given by this figure, which verify the following robust performance condition like this. The proposed system satisfied, then the proposed system satisfied well the criteria of stability and robustness. In addition, in addition, the stability analysis by plotting singular value of LDFEG is given by this diagram here, which the singular value diagram does not exceed one here. We can verify the relationship by this expression. Consequently, KG infinite corrector stabilize, stabilize this, the loopy system. Then we proceed in the same way for the filter. In conclusion, we can say that this is the this is a good approach presented for the robustification of the HM Fini command. Then the associations of the HM Fini with other controllers like fuzzy logic, proportional integral, artificial neural network will further guarantee a good compromise between precision stability and the business. This is, we can, in sum, this is what's allowing the hybrid control of wind power proposed in title to contribute to the improvement of the quality and quantity of the energy produced. So, thank you for your kind attention.